After a delegate tested positive for COVID over the weekend, drive-by COVID-19 testing was offered at the Capitol for staff and lawmakers. 13 News reporter Larissa Casillas has reaction from the state Capitol from both sides of the aisle. Larissa. Rob and Marilee, I found out two people in the House of Delegates weren't there today. Delegate Brandon Steele, who contracted the virus, and Republican Delegate Joshua Higginbottom, who sits near him and is self-quarantining. Leaders tell me no one came into high-risk contact with Delegate Steele, which means unmasked for longer than 15 minutes. And lawmakers hope to finish the session. Since the beginning of the legislative session, COVID-19 rules were established from not allowing the public inside, confining media to certain areas and requiring lawmakers to wear a mask while on the floor unless speaking. Then pictures of Republican legislators wearing mesh masks began to surface. There were also complaints about some not wearing one altogether. Listen, it's unfortunate, you know, that we have a handful of people that still aren't taking this situation seriously. They have some masks that are fake masks. Uh, we have some people who continue to walk through the hallways and go to committee meetings and not wear their mask. The bottom line is we just need to treat people with respect. Democratic Minority Leader Doug Scaff says most delegates have complied with the rules and says his thoughts and prayers are with Delegate Brandon Steele and his family. And as legislators, we need to continue to do more and do better that this pandemic is still out there. It's still going on. All lawmakers were offered the COVID-19 vaccination early in the session with some refusing it. I was really surprised that it's taken this long for one of us to uh, uh, acquire COVID during this session. Republican delegate Larry Pack says he works in health care and is a big advocate of the COVID-19 vaccine, but the vaccination is a personal choice. Uh, but we do live in a free country and people have uh, different ideas as to whether uh, they should take vaccines or not. It's, uh, it's optional. And there are three weeks left this legislative session, and I'm told it will be business as usual, as usual as it can be this year. In the studio, Larissa CS 13 News, working for you.